This is our Harewood lean-to mini greenhouse. This is the five foot long version, 1.51 meters long, and it's also five foot high, 1.51 meters high. So the Harewood is designed to go against a low wall or fence. If maybe you can't fit the taller Hampton model in. It uh, is a lean-to, so uh, you need to fix it to a structure, although we do sell it with an optional glass back. So the glass back will then uh, allow it to be completely freestanding. So if you've got, say, a hedge that you want to put it against, then the glass back is very useful. If you don't want to use a glass back and you, you can't fit it back to the wall, then you could use a sheet of plywood at the back. So glazed in four millimeter tough and safety glass. So the light is being let through, through the glass, very good light transmission on glass and also the glass traps the heat. So it's much warmer earlier in the year, which is great for bringing on seedlings and uh, tender plants. All of the glass slides, so you've got very good ventilation. Early in the year, you can have it open just a, a little bit so that the air is moving around so you're not getting disease problems, but it's still staying nice and warm in there. And then as the spring progresses, you can progressively open up the glass doors more and more. When you come to summertime, then you can also open the roof glass. You can actually remove the roof glass as well, so it's very hot. You can actually take the roof glass out and let the, the heat vent up through the top. Inside we've got uh, two shelving systems. We've got uh, a glass centre staging and then we've got uh, adjustable seed tray shelves at the back. You've got uh, two narrow seed tray shelves and four wide seed tray shelves and they can be moved around to suit what you're you're growing if you don't want to use them you can drop them flat against the back so that they're out of the way the shelves are adjustable height wise so you can uh, change the spacing depending what you're growing in there uh, as i say if you're doing things like tomatoes you can start those off have them in pots at the bottom and progressively as the uh, tomatoes grow you can just drop the shelves flat against the back so that they're out of the way. The glass centre staging will also lift out to allow you to go to the full height with something like tomatoes. We use glass in the uh, centre staging because of the light transmission. So you're getting as much light as you can down to the lower levels. But it is toughened safety glass and each sheet is rated to a 25 kilo weight so you can put plenty of heavy pots on there so we have things like alpines on there and no problems at all but because it's lifted out uh, you can have a mixture of uh, taller things one side uh, and then the center staging on the other side this one's got three sheets of center staging so you can take one two or even all three sheets out if you want to but it makes it a very versatile space the other thing that adds to the versatility is the watering system. So at the end, you've got a fitting for a garden hose. And on this model, you've got four nozzles. So one there uh, and one uh, here, and then down below the center staging, that's replicated. So these four nozzles spray out a very fine mist into the frame. And if you've got seedlings, it's gentle enough not to knock them about. And you can put it on for three or four minutes uh, and the watering is done for you. If you want to automate it, if you want to go away and not have to worry about watering, then you can put a little timer on the tap and then you can have that come on early in the morning and in the summertime, perhaps early in the morning and then uh, in the evening as well to make sure everything's watered. The other option that you can uh, think about for uh, this uh, mini greenhouse is the automatic louver vent. That fits at the end and has got a automatic opener which opens and closes the vent as the temperatures rises and falls. This is very useful early on in the year, uh, in sort of March, April, May time, you're going to want to have the frame closed at night because there's still the danger of frost. But of course the sun comes up quite early. So if you've got an automatic vent, five o'clock when the sun comes on it, the vent's going to start opening and ventilating for you. Later in the year, it's not so important to have the vent because generally you would leave the glass open all of the time, at least a little bit of ventilation uh, to stop it overheating. If you don't buy the vent, then you can still use the grow house 
uh, you know, we sell lots without vents, and you just slide the glass just for um, ventilation. But you've got to be there and do that manually. So it's a bit more uh, to keep an eye on. So designed to be fixed back to the wall or to a fence, it comes with fixings for the wall. Uh, it also comes with fixings to fix it down to the ground. So it's extremely sturdy. The framework's got a 25 year aluminium uh, guarantee on it. So it's designed to last and all the fixings are stainless steel. So a lovely little frame designed for versatile gardening and you can have it near the house where you can keep an eye on things.